Hi, my name is Scott Weidenkiewicz. I am the Chief Community Officer here at Imagely. Today, I have some news that we are deprecating the styles feature inside of NextGen Gallery. This feature is where you would add custom CSS into NextGen Gallery. We are deprecating this feature because WordPress has a custom CSS feature built into Core. Now, in another video, I shared how to copy and paste that custom CSS into WordPress's customizer. But in this video, I want to share with you how to move that custom CSS to a plugin that might give you some more control over the custom CSS that is built into the WordPress core. Before you continue with this video, please go back to that other video and watch that. It's only a couple minutes long. And then come back to this if you're interested in using something other than the customizer. So I have three plugins installed on this WordPress site. And the first I'm going to show you is Simple Custom CSS. We're going to activate that. Now, in order to edit this CSS, you would go to the Appearance and then Custom CSS tab. The reason why you would use this over the additional CSS feature built into the WordPress customizer is that the additional CSS feature is actually theme dependent, meaning if you add CSS to the additional CSS tab in the customizer and then you change themes, all of that CSS will disappear. So simple custom CSS is the same exact thing as what is built into WordPress core. However, it will not change depending on if you change themes. This will just stay as long as the plugin is active. So if you want, you can just copy and paste the CSS and then move it over to simple custom CSS and then you're done. You can then go back and turn off the CSS that is in NextGen Gallery's Styles tab. The next one I wanna show you is post page custom CSS. And the advantage of this is that NextGen Gallery's CSS feature only loaded when a gallery was on a page. It was that conditional which made it really beneficial for site speed so that CSS would only load when absolutely necessary. So when you're using something like simple custom CSS or even the additional CSS feature built into WordPress, that is global. That will load on every single page. Now, CSS will not slow down your site that much, but it is something loading when it doesn't need to be loaded. So instead, you could use something like post page specific custom CSS, which is also a free plugin. You can go to the page where you have your gallery, edit the page, and then below the page content is a custom CSS block where you can then add your CSS, update the page, and then you have it there on that specific page only. If you're using custom CSS and you need it for very specific areas, there's a very easy and free solution. The last one I want to show you is called Simple Custom CSS and JavaScript, or JS. Now, there is a free version of this, and there is a paid version of this. And the one I'm showing you is the free version. However, to get page or post specific CSS, you have to pay for the, uh, for the paid version of this product. You can add CSS for specific tasks as needed. So I can go ahead and I can say, this is for NextGen Gallery thumbnails. And then you can go ahead and you can add in your CSS. On the free version, all you can do is hit publish, choose where you want to load header or footer, if it's the front end or the back end or the login page, things like that. But on the paid version, you can go into more details. As you can see, the apply only on these URLs is only available in the paid version but you can specify where you want to, 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 uh, to publish. And if you have your page structure where it's, let's say, galleries, and then you have subfolders of galleries, then you can actually say when the URL contains galleries in it, it will do this custom CSS, which means it will do it anytime you have a next-gen gallery on a page that has that text in the URL. That's pretty neat. So there you go, there are three plugins, two of which are free, one of which is paid, that can take the place of NextGen Gallery's custom CSS feature. Now, the NextGen Gallery Styles tab will be deprecated in version 3.5.0. It will be completely removed in version four of NextGen Gallery, which is due out February 2021. This gives you more than enough time to do simple copy and paste 
to get your CSS out of NextGen Gallery into another CSS, custom CSS plugin. If you have any questions about copying your CSS outside of the NextGen Gallery Styles tab, just open a support ticket at imagely.com support.